Beyond this point is the official castle grounds. You must present an official referral to enter. <clears throat> I am a close relative of your Lord Dio. Go tell him Odie demands an audience with him. Odie? Where have I heard that name before? Oh ho! So my fame and renown has traveled even to this far-flung backwater swamp. How do you like them apples? Now what do you think of old Sluggo? Yeah, great. I'm sure we're all really proud. Oh, now I remember. Your name is way at the top of the Do Not Allow list. Way to go, Sluggo! Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Let me just see that real quick. This is... No, wait. Here it says... Wait here a moment. What was that all about? Perhaps it's because the referral is from Lena the Firebrand herself. After all, she was supposed to have died years ago. She's practically a god around here. So sorry to keep you waiting. Her Majesty would be delighted to meet with you. Now, if your representative would just please follow me. Huh? What, you mean only one of us can go in? Oh yes, I'm sorry. But that is an official decree from Her Majesty. I, I have to go too. I have to be there. I'm sorry, miss, but I cannot allow anyone other than your representative. Fine. I guess I have to leave it to you, but you better not screw this up. What the hell? She's just a kid! But that masked dragon next to her, that must be the deal we're looking for. Huh? I've seen him before, and not just in my dreams. I never dreamed I'd see such a rare treasure as a letter from Lena the Firebrand. Truthfully, I still find it hard to believe. But if Dio says it is real, then it is real. It's true, Your Majesty. I sense a strong magic within the paper. Only Lena herself or a mage of similar power could have written this referral. But did Lena not perish decades ago? How does she still live 200 years later? Your Majesty. There exist in our world magic spells that can bind even the souls of the dead.
<laughs> See? This guy understands. Don't apply your short-sighted concepts of life and death onto the eternal. What's that voice? It's a ghost! Someone kill it! Silence! You are in the presence of Her Majesty the Queen. It's okay, Dio. You can't blame them for being afraid. It surprised me a little, too. So, what do you want from me? Tell me why you came here. What? Is this a joke? You're asking me to release that... that monster? What would you do once it's free? Ask it nicely to go away? I was wrong. This is no joke. You're insane. No. No. I know what this is. You want us to endure the same fate as Raid. You want our nation to crumble and our people to suffer. That's it, isn't it? And what happened in Thuris was because someone decided to provoke them too. What happens when they're allowed to roam free? They take vengeance on everything in their path. Now how does a teeny bopper like you know about all of that? There is nothing that Dio does not know. Look closely what has happened to our world. The more you try and control it, the more suffering you bring to us all. Think about it. If anything, you and your comrades are the world eaters. So no, I will not allow this. I will not allow you to ruin my country. Dio, what say you? Your Majesty, please do as they ask. Are you mad? They're asking you to break the seal your family's been safeguarding for generations. I would ask that you trust me, Your Majesty. I will not let things go astray. B but I don't know. <sighs> Very well. Your words are well spoken as always, and I have no reason to doubt your resolve. Considering all this, I shall consent. If you so desire, you may undo the seal. I leave everything to you, Dio. As you wish, Your Majesty. I shall meet you at the Hidden Tree Forest three days from now. I must make the necessary preparations until then.